This is draft number 12. Very disappointing. Draft number 11 where we just flooded. A couple of games we just flooded out. Nothing else about that is just great. But yeah. We got two pips removed off of Diamond 3. In the verge of actually falling down to Diamond 4. Yikes. Let's see what we can do with the next one. Let's go. Ooh, breaches. Breaches, 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 breaches. I love you. Breaches. Eager Pillager. Pirates. So we're looking for the blue red deck for uh, breaches. Wailing Pirates. Awesome. Triumphant Chomp. Awesome. Even himself is great, but. He works best with pirates. On the red green shell, he's okay. On the red white shell, he's okay. Red black is also okay. Very flexible. Very strong. Three drop. If not removed early, he can just go ahead and steal the games. We're passing red cards, though, in the form of Triumphant Chomp. We're going to try and see if we can cut off red. We're passing blue, green, not much else, and white with the tote. Yeah, blue. That's an awesome blue card. Yeah, I'm not taking anything else. So here's Death Got Marionette. But I like the red blue for breaches better than red black or red white or red green. Let's see if we can go red blue. Here's an awesome blue card with a water wind scout. Are you a pirate? I wish you're a pirate, but you're a scout. Merfolk as well. Goblin pirate. Whenever a pirate you control attacks, choose one. Pay a treasure token. Treasure can't block. Exile top card even though you play this turn. So and he's also first striker. Imagine with Sunfire Torch, breaches with Sunfire Torch, attack. You got two more mana, three if you're attacking on turn four. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We're definitely taking the water winds out here. And then what are we? presented with cavern of souls no rumbling rock slide yes shipwreck sentry to wheel seismic monster sore or the panicked altisaur are all fine cards i picked the rumbling rock slide here breaches on three removal on four ensures that we get a token yeah yeah huh yeah huh uh-huh game plan right that's a pretty good game plan i like the earth shaker dread mob but not on this shell i guess like the rumbling rock slide better continue the red cut red that's cut red squirming new wailing pirates here you can also get the idol of the deep king but i think Breaches on the three. Wailing Pirates on four. And that's a pirate too. So. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Squirming Emergence for Black Green. Strong, but not in our colors. Idol of the Deep King. Maybe red will get cut. I don't know. For uh, pack two. But we're going to see if we can get this thing done right here. Right now. Pirate hat. I think I'm just going to take the sentry here. Maybe not. I mean, red green is still a thing. Quatlis is just great. I mean, this is pick five. We're going to put it on hold. See where we land with that. But yeah. 
no best thing here. Here's white. Again, I don't like white. White, blue. Not really. I don't like black. And black is the strongest here with another chance. We're not going to speculate on black. Maybe green. But there's no red or blue card here. That's awesome. Maybe the River Herald Scout? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's a bad pull, but okay. Okay, green is kind of available with Huatlis. I'm gonna take it. Maybe get the Pathfinding Axe or is it maybe Pathfinding Axe I'm also okay with Pathfinding Axe Black and green are up actually. So no great cards here. We'll take the hidden volcano. Yeah. Okay. Red green, I guess. The armored kin collar more than the cavern stomper. Yeah. We have replacements for the cavern stomper. Don't have great replacements for. I'll take the uh, sunbird standard here more than seeker of the sunlight. Because at least this one we can cast the big dudes. Blue ain't open. Alright, well, there's red green. Alright, cool. See? Sunbird standard. Kind of useful as well, but I'm going to take my first seismic monster store here. And then, yeah, walk with the ancestors. Cool. Or is it the Malamith site? Seen walk with the ancestors more. Yeah, you know what? We'll take walk with the ancestors. Okay, in the presence of ages as well. Not the best for this deck. It's best for black green. Red is actually not open. It's green that's open. This, uh, this draft, this pack. Maybe forcing green. Seen more black. Black green. We might have to go to the black route. So I've seen a couple of another chance. Yeah, here's a... Is it a Malamut veteran or a scythe? No. Maybe we should picked up the veteran okay black with terror tide don't think so we'll pick up the uh we are far away from black but black might be the uh the thing red might not be the thing green keeps wheeling breaches i think maybe black sure black green Maybe someone will go to black. Terror Tide. I do not like Terror Tide. I'm gonna pick up uh, Join the Dead here. See if black is open. Nope. There are perfectly awesome cards here. So, no. We'll stay the route then. Poison Dart Frog. Tali's favor is also not bad. We can do with without the poison dart frog, right? We don't have two drops though. Life starts at three. Maybe. Tali's favor is great. Wait, we're trying to go big, right? Alright. The frog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or drop here. We have another chance for a staggering size, so we're gonna take it. 
We are picking up the triumphant jump here for sure. And then on the wheel, maybe a panicked Altisaur. The Malamid for staggering size is great. But triumphant jump is awesomeness. Okay. Pathfinding Astral more than the panicked Altisaur here. Yeah. Another pirate on three. Braid would be really good. Whoa, so we got a lot of options here. Wow, I want this whole pack. Watley's final strike. Yeah, we'll take Watley's final strike. We're not gonna get this thing back, right? We're not going to get it back. So we'll take we're taking Watley's final strike here. Maybe we'll get one of the uh, green cards to wheel. Nothing here. That's kind of a bad... I do not like Ancestors Age in this deck. Staggering size on our original pack. Awesomeness. Yes, please. Alright, we got pretty good stuff bit of offerings sure we can grab that huh second uh, staggering size more than a Malamic brawler we still want maybe we'll get the uh, the uh, the two two no we're not flyer versus wander glyph I'm not using you actually. Yeah, shaping up to be awesome. Walk with ancestors to grab one of these guys that we cycle. Mm, terrible, but not looking forward to it. Okay, so big big thing terrence is pretty good i love terrence we're gonna we're taking it terrence soul cleaver is really good the equip cost is kind of a lot but i think we will be able to wheel ceratops sun's cavalry or the pathfinding asha but that is a, a pretty good pickup here uh, we are taking it Yeah, we're definitely taking it. Okay. Wow, and we got nothing in this pack. Well, we have the Plundering Pirate. For... Something... Or maybe it's Hidden Nursery because I don't think we'll use the Plundering Pirate. We already have in the Presence of Ages. We might actually use uh, the Pirate, right? There's a chance we'll use it. There is a chance we'll use it. Okay, we're taking the uh, Earthshaker Dreadmaw now. One, two... <laughs> that's a pretty good pick yeah i really like that pick okay then one of you guys to wheel would be awesome it's quince please it's quince i think it's a rumbling rock slide here yeah it's the rumbling rock slide We have two poison dart frog. I think I'll take the panicked altasaur now. We have a 
tumbling rock slide already. That's useful. More than thundering pirate? Can be. No great fix here. We really don't have two drops, which is really bad. It's pretty bad. Alright, for a two drop. Awesome. That's a really good pickup. Hmm. Seismic monstrous or number of dinos eight. Nope, we're not taking that. We're gonna take hot foot gnome. See if we can improve on it really bad explorer's cache is fine yes oh no wait three so we need two drops our threes are are our threes better no i think that's great that's better than the burning sun's cavalry okay So we're really hoping for poison dart frog each and every game. So let's pray to the uh, RNG gods. Please let us draw. The burning sun scatter and poison dart frog each and every game. As they are required for us to win. Uh, maybe that was the wrong pick. I don't know. Oh, over the edge. All right. Let's check that out. So we picked a panicked Altasaur over 1610. We have. Okay. We need to cut three cards. Hot foot gnome over the edge. And probably the explorer's cache, right? Well, the explorer's cache is really good. Guado is fine as well. Oh, brazen blade master. Sure. Number of artifacts? Three. Ah, <laughs> no. Not gonna be great. Okay. At least the plundering pirate is going to give us a token on uh, an artifact. Is there a better card than the oh we can go with the Malamid site more than the plundering pirate? Right? I think so, right? No. Terran Soul Cleaver will enable us to... Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. That's fine. We're more green than red? Yes. So 97, sure. 98. Okay. We might need more early game. So our early game. Parents, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven in theory. We need to keep drawing lads. Let's try it out. Poison dart frog, please. 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 Please, Frog. Please, Froggy. Be nice to us. Please, be nice to us. If we keep drawing you each and every game, we're solid. We're golden, actually. That'd be really, really good.
Uh oh. Let's not bump into a mythic person. And we bump into a mythic person. We got three. Okay. Yeah, and we don't really have early, early game, but... So if we do the plundering pirate, we can't, we can do staggering size. We can do plundering pirate three. So I have two things. We can do uh, breaches. We can do rumbling rocks like this because we're at 17. He has five mana. Um, rumbling rock slide and then next turn we still have breaches. But what we can do right now is breaches. And then treasure token. Block this turn. Create a treasure token. can't block that but we can definitely okay No dead weight, 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 no dead weight. He has five mana. Do something with five mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exile the top card of your library and we 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Creature can't block this turn, right? Okay. Um, if he decides to attack... He's going to what? He can't discover. How can he discover? Rock slide this. Three. This is two. I think that was correct. So we don't want him to block. If he blocks, whatever he casts right now, whatever is the big thing, we can still rumbling rock slide it. We also have walk of the ancestors for nurturing bristle back. I can't block, dude. Wait, no. Uh, this is... Oh, we have the win, right? All right, we got one. We got one. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. We got breaches and the Terran. So we need to keep uh, creating the treasure tokens, I guess, instead of exiling. So that if if we have the 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 blade, yeah, blade and breaches. Wow, the pirates actually had more game than that. <laughs> that was that's crazy. Oh, please. Us. Oh, we could have had game there if we drew into a four drop. What can we do for this? Three rocks like this. Oh, we can't even, right? We have to Huatlis. 
and then kill this. All right, you can't. We have two things next turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill this dude. At the beginning of the player's end step. What an idiot! I didn't let the freaking poison dart frog resolve. What? A oh my god! I am so. I had the perfect idea, but it didn't resolve. I didn't see it resolve. I'm like, where's the death touch? And I still did it anyway. What a dumbass! Stupid dumbass! God, oh my god, that was so bad. It's alright, well. <sighs> I was really wondering what the heck was going on. Why Poison Dart Frog didn't have it. That was so bad. That was so bad. 13. <sighs> 5 4. I deserve that. That loss. That was so stupid. That was really so stupid. So I can attack right now and um, I'll be dead. Yep, go ahead because I just really punted. That was a major punt. Akal should be gone. Another one, sure. This could have been fine if he didn't get draws from Pakal, right? It would have been so good. It would have been really fine. Major punt. I had the idea. It was just not executed properly. It was executed very, very poorly. I was like, where's the death touch on this thing? But I still continued to do it. I had the cancel option. I mean, how dumb is that? Why didn't I was even looking at the side? I was even looking at the side for the trigger. It didn't show up. I'm like, okay, it's Watley's final strike only showing up over here. So... There is no other trigger for the death touch. I should just let it resolve. 
it didn't show up. That was the issue. If we go back there, that was my mistake. That really shouldn't happen. Like, hello? I didn't pay for it, maybe. No. I can't respond for a payment to put it on the stack, right? I can't respond to that. Because that would be dumb. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm only drawing forests. Hello? Well, he's delayed, so we're okay, but dang. No petrify, no petrify, no petrify, no petrify, no petrify, no petrify, no join the dead, no join the dead. <laughs> so many things we gotta dodge because we only have one creature in play right now. What the heck? Old tech archaeologist, okay. He needs, I think, another land. Now it's petrify, okay. Join the dead, still alive. screwed should have staggering size this but we already dealt damage so we're gonna get screwed yep they are we are grabbing one two three four five six we're grabbing what exactly? I think we're grabbing the bristle back. Even if we don't have the mana for it. If we draw land, I'll just grab the bristle back. For sure. Please draw some action. Dang it.
Our best chance is the Bristleback, right? Six Explorers Cash. No, and Pathfinding Axe Draw we trust, right? Yep. Okay. Can't block this, so we're gonna stagger in size, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if he has another Tithing Blade. Join the dead. So, bad move on not removing the one, two, one at the time. We are very delayed now. We can't even do that. We can explore our size. And then five, it'll be a four, three. Nope. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be at six. We should have removed the uh, four, three. Okay. We're dead, right? Six. Yeah, we will die here now. Yeah, he's just going to sack this. Do that. Ah. <sighs> So bad decisions and now we're at three losses. Didn't matter. You cast it again, that's his form of removal. And all because we did not draw we have six lands but no actual permanence. Just didn't draw any permanence. Yeah. All of our non permanent non creatures. Quadly's final strike, Quadly's final strike, Walk with the Ancestors, Staggering Size, Explorer's Cash. And take note we only have like, we have like only eight, and we have one, two, three, four, five. We drew five of our eight non-creatures. Very sad. Very, very sad. Again, we're we're looking for the poison dart frog. Breaches. Come on, come out, man. Come out. Come out. Come on, breaches. You're in the deck. Come on. You're in the deck, man. You're in the deck. Even poison dart frog, please. Come out, you guys are required. Jesus, even uh, even permanence, man. I have 14 creatures. 14. What in the heck? 14 creatures and you guys don't want to come out. Do we have another dino to augment this? Come on, come on. Ah. Oh. Please magic, please. Okay, also, we are making poor decisions, though. The uh, decision to not use staggering size to put him down at three was 
quite bad. Also, the decision to not use staggering uh, Huatli's final strike to remove the four so we wouldn't be taking more damage. The thing is, at the time, it was a 2-1. It was a 2-1 at the time. Arr. Ten one nine four. He'll be down four. We're currently waiting. We're we're gonna hit a mythic person again. Are we? Please don't. Great. Awesome. I accept. Let's go. Oh. Thank you. Fast finding axe jaw on three. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We have awesome playables. All right. Let's do it. Fast finding axe jaw on three. Let's do it. Definite keep. Shit, though. He's stuck on two lands. I'm sorry, opponent. Land number three? Sure. Okay, great. You drew that. What are you doing? What are you doing? That was a major punt. I guess he forgot about it going to 3-3. Three, three. Well, all right, we're back on tier three, but yeah, not from our great play, but from the opponent misplay and delay land drop. I just want a normal game of magic. Come on, normal game of magic, please. Normal game of magic. All I want, please. Normal games. Nothing too funky. The Galta deck, though. <laughs> if we had... If we maybe... If we had a chance to draft the Gnome, though... I should have probably... Yeah, I should have probably tried to grab the Gnome. Because that would be the play, right? Galta. Play Galta. Play the Gnome. Haste Galta in. I'm gonna think about that next time. I was I just wasn't like I wasn't actively like picking Galta because we kinda had Galta on uh We're starting? Wow. Wow, the only thing that is a two drop. The only thing that'll really improve this is a two drop. Yikes, not great.
No brain, 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 no brain. Again, I'm against a braid. Against a braid. No braid. No braid, please. No braid. Okay, he's attacking for a lot. Yikers. Okay, we just sack this if he targets with a braid or something. I'm gonna be able to cast the uh he doesn't have land drops, oops. I can't attack. Sure. Okay. So he's already done one trick. Six, four, what can we do exactly? Okay. That's two. If he attacks with that, I'm okay. And then we staggering size. Staggering size what? It depends on his order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. If he does breaches, breaches is dead. No, five.
not forget to tap Panicked Altasaur. I think I got your number. We got it. We had so many live draws there. Uh, we can even do breaches for... Oh, uh, yeah. Just need... Yeah. Breaches come out. The sword come out, cleaver, whatever, poison dart frog. We good, we good, we good. Breaches with a cleaver. It is devastating because of the treasure tokens. The Vigilance on that thing, the Equip 2 is kind of costly, but it is worth it because every time you kill something, it grows. Yep. Oh no, please no Mythic, please no Mythic, please get me into a good match another three quadl sure we have what exactly land draw Drew me a land, please stop drawing lands. Please give me some action. Burning Sun's Cavalry, Poison Dark Frog, Poison Dark Frog, Poison Dark Frog. Poison Dark Frog, Poison Dark Frog, Poison Dark Frog. What can we draw now? Uh, Breaches, come on, Breaches. Wow. What? Whoa. Dude. You don't have to do that. Why'd you do that? You didn't have to do that. You can keep doing that, but it is not good. Flyer. Okay, no. So we're gonna take this. Because we need it for this. Four, two, four, two. What's next? Two, six, 
I think we're just going to do this. Right? Yep. Breaches, breaches. Crap. Five. He's got five. He's uh played land every time. He has missed a land drop, so. He's got Cosmo. Two. I think I'll just take this right now. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, he has Cosmo for sure, right? He Cosmos this. We can still do final strike. No blocks, sure. We can catch up. The problem is we don't have... Okay. If he casts something... I don't know. Okay. So he doesn't ha he has Cosmo for sure. So it's either this, we can't do Cosmo, we can do four, six, uh, next. Since we're getting Cosmo stuff. Awesome. Staggering size? I think it's staggering size then if he left those two up. Yeah, he's got it. Okay, well, I was I'm mistaken. It wasn't Cosmo. It was staggering size. Okay, well, it was still fine though. So we now have... Okay. Again, we're not blocking because, yeah, we have six. Ouch. This is really bad. Five. Come on, man. Come on. Just come on. What the heck was that? That was so bad. Well, at least we can defend against both of these, but... Ah, <sighs> drawing lands like... Seriously? We are gonna block this now. He decides to block, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, awesome. This is so stupid. I'm down to eight. This is just radically dumb. What can he do with this? All right, we're just going to do this. Just uh, uh, Man. 
man. You don't want to draw land, but you that's just stupid. Oh, that is so bad. All right. So frustrating. Our opponent has six lands. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. What the hell? Every single time we, we had... That guy has to go. Damn, but just so... Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gonna attack. Six, four. Still good. All right. So we have to block, I, I can't, okay, block this, that's a six, eight, four, and that's also blocking, so we're gonna do this. to target and move actually as a sorcery what counter man but really really frustrating match man i mean really frustrating because of the got it but drawing this many lands that come on work with me here work with me here what in the hay happened 20 we drew a lot one two three four five six seven eight we drew a lot but man we drew lands Give me a break. We got so many great draws. Are we draw lands? Let's continue the saga. Four wins and two losses. Still trying to get that trophy, but we are moving. Still a frustrating draw. Our draws have been terrible. Come on, Dad. Dad, come on. Come on. 
I need you to work with me here, please. Breaches, Darren, start with Darren, or God Hand, Darren, Poison Dart Frog, uh, Breaches, go. Bre yeah. Maybe I should put the other pirate for early game. I mean, he is usable as a pirate, and we got the Malamid side. No, we're fine. We'll be okay. No early game, but this is usable. Come on, give me a break, deck. Deck, come on. There's a lot of great draws. Darren, Tarion, Soul Cleaver. Anything but lands, man. Anything but lands. Anything but lands, Duck. Anything but lands. Kill that. So Watley's reserved for that. Okay. Okay. So no. Six, five. It'll be six, four. Wow. Four? Okay, still good. We need a removal for the frog. Yeah, we got no removal for the fr frog. It's breaches. Breaches are bust. We've been playing mountains all this time. 
Breaches here, breaches here. In case he it goes Ori. He is going to die though, right? Because if we attack right now, right? He decides to block what? Block with that, with that. He still dies, right? I think yes. Yeah, he's probably gonna die, but I mean, you either let this or two of your things die. Yeah, he's gonna block. It's profitable to block, but not with the deep fathom echo. One, two, three, four. Three things are going to die. Rockish, ooh, all right, cool. Yeah. If we do breaches, we are. Breaches will not, all right. Move a counter on the target creature. Eight, five. Target a creature. What the heck? Seven. What is this? Brackish, maybe? It's probably brackish, right?
Okay. It says when it dies. Yeah, you need a creature or I'm going to not block. And then four, five, six, seven, yeah. Cast nurturing bristle back. What do we have with three? Ooh, okay. Okay. Ooh. What is this? Six? Okay. No blocks? Six is not equal to okay. Seven. Walk with ancestors to which one? Oh, pathfinding axe jaw. He has everything, so... Okay. Got eight mana. What do you have? Okay. I don't know why you attacked then. Why did you attack? Why did you attack? That was sketchy. Maybe you had two lands, I don't know. What do you have? What do you have? Had eight mana. But we had all of the, the things because we have uh, something to cast or two. So even if it removes two things with two cards, I don't think so. Because he's going to die. Yeah, he can't. And then remove two things? Mm -hmm. Don't think so. Maybe the correct attack there, since he had he had two cards, was attack with uh, the monster sword, and that's it. No, his reaches is is so good. We don't have any early game again. But if we do get into, come on! But it's. I mean, breaches, please. Poison dart frog. Frog, frog, frog. Call for it. Frog, come on. Frog. Burning Sun's Cavalry. Frog. No. Yeah, we'll take out the nurturing bristle back here. is just so dumb you take out a land in the deck and you still draw a land anyway 
Please don't draw land. All right. I eight damage, dude. Please, not a land for crying out loud. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, we're not going to see if he removes this. Cause if he removes it, we're dead. But if he can't, then we're fine. A braid? Doesn't seem to have a braid. All right, well, we are. Cause he can, what exactly do to this? We'll keep him with staggering size, right? For he'll be too um It's too much, basically. But at three, even if he rock slides this, we can survive the rock slide. Eleven. Can we catch up to him? We'll have the Earthshaker Dreadmaw, right? Staggering size. Oh no. Major punt. So he had staggering size. We're kind of screwed. Five. This is seven. We'll have six with the Earth Shaker Dreadmaw, but it'll just be up there for posterity. Yeesh. Yeesh. Really bad. So, but he had the pocket, so he wasn't able to use it. For us, which is okay. He had green. He was hiding green. Okay. He's red green all along. Eight. We're down three. Go ahead. Poison dart frog. Sure. Can't cast that, so okay. So whatever happens, we're gonna have to double block, or if we staggering size one, we'll still catch up on board, maybe. We're down to three. We're down to three. We're basically dead next turn. Yeah. So if we do this. And then staggering size it. We should be okay. Otherwise he'll remove it. Six. One, two, three, four, five. He can remove it. All right. Best play. Okay. And here we go. Let's wait a bit. Mm. All right, opponent, what are you doing? It's Quinn. Well, 
well, that doesn't kill that. But we're still in a very tight bind because, okay. Yeah, this just kills us, right? Uh -huh. Okay, you got a counter on that pirate. Well, we can't trade with it now. We're gonna have to use staggering size. And we're at three anyway, so we dead. We dead on board. I'm uh, just gonna let this happen. Uh -huh. I can cast this, sure, to go ahead and kill that. Like it should have been killed earlier, but the major punt did not allow us to to do it. So he's got something. Nope. He's got a Colossus Daston on him, so Hmm. Yeah, opponent, come on, just go ahead and do this. Don't need to do anything else. Just go win. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <sighs> oh well. We'll get him next time. And we're back to Diamond three, two pips. Well, yeah, we really kind of punted that <laughs> that turn, that turn where we just needed to cast staggering size so that we can get rid of that thing. But nope, didn't do it. We were ready to do it as well. I just don't know why we didn't do it. Anyway, uh, we still got the five wins. Uh, the deck is awesome. Uh, featuring Earthshaker, Dreadmaw. Uh, to hopefully draw us cards. But we really weren't able to draw a lot of cards. Hey, anyway, right, we got the five wins. Yeah. Yeah, like I was saying, we have a lot of pathfinding axe draws for supposedly to draw with Earthshaker Dreadmaw with this in play and having a big body. But most of the time, what it did was it explored and didn't even get a counter. We kept drawing lands. A lot of the games were like pathfinding axe draw, draw land. Not too bad, but at the same time. We needed counters on this thing more than we needed the land draw. But yeah, it kept drawing us lands. We also got Terry and Soul Cleaver with Breaches, which is amazing because the combo with Breaches and the, the Terry and so Breaches will go ahead and create a treasure token with Terry and equipped on Breaches. You'll go ahead and sack the treasure token. Breaches will grow. Breaches is uh, first striking. So Quarry was also kind of not great in the deck. Maybe I should have just opted for uh, the Goblin Tomb Raider instead uh, of the Quarry. You know, have breaches have more pirates because the only pirate in the deck is the plundering pirate but in one game it actually worked out right because we had breaches with plundering pirate and two triggers from there walk with the ancestors as well is great because we had uh nurturing bristle back and uh seismic monster soar uh to uh, to get back with the uh, with walk, and I think at some point we had uh, walked and picked up pathfinding axe jaw so we can cast it uh, better on the next turn 
or was it the same turn? I think next turn. Walk is pretty heavy. Uh, it's five to cast, but yeah, getting back the Bristleback or the Seismic Monster Sword, oh, really, really awesome. Uh, that's why we, you know, we can go ahead and uh, trade with the uh, trade early with whatever's on the board and get it back with the uh, with walk. Uh, Explorer's Cache is also pretty good. Um, the counters, we just weren't, <laughs> yeah. See, if the Pathfinding Axe worked with the Explorer's Cache, it would have been so much better, but. No, we weren't getting any counters on uh, the Pathfinding Axe Jaw. Yeah. And again, Huati's first strike, final strike, really, really good. What else do we got? Uh, yeah, so far, that's it. Standard 49 deck. Yeah, maybe go ahead and swap out. Like I said, uh, more pirates in. For uh, for breaches, that might have been the correct uh, play there. Yeah, that would have served well because. We can cast Tarion and then have Dynatomaton with uh, uh, the Brazen Blade Master being a 4 4 because we'll have two artifacts in uh, play. And also with Explorer's Cache, Explorer's Cache with the uh, Dynatomaton. Although the thing is, we don't have a lot of artifacts in the, uh, in the deck. Incidental artifacts with Breaches because Breaches creates treasure tokens. But it doesn't really guarantee it. Anyway, we got to 5. So, pretty happy with that. The deck deserved more though. If we played tighter, better. I believe we could have gotten 7 wins. But, yeah. Anyway. Uh, still got to 5. Gotta be happy with that. Let's claim it. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, why don't you smash that like button? Please consider subscribing and check out my other vids. See you on the next one.